Hey folks, welcome back to T World Earth. This is Mark, and today we're going to be looking at this funky little inexpensive lens. It is actually a clip on lens from a company called Rainox. It is the DCR 250, and it will help you to get into your macro photography. Let's check it out. Now the lens is just like a it's just like a clip on lens and you've got these two little stubs on the uh, outside here. Now they're spring loaded like that. And what they do on the flip side if you look at it, all it does is you see these two little rims here. You got one here and one on this side. By pushing those together, you introduce this clip on lens into the front element of your lens and just release the clips and what they do is they'll grip on to the rim where, where the filters go on the front of your lens. Give it a squeeze. Just place that over the top of your main lens, okay. Let it go and there you go. You've now got an additional macro element or additional magnification element on the front of your already decent lens. So. Uh, Let's do a side by side comparison. We'll, get, we'll set up a very easy shoot here in the studio and we'll see what a, an image looks like with and without the Rainox in place. Okay guys, so welcome to the corner of my studio, uh, office, the <laughs> small space that it is. Um, and I've got, I'm going to be using these dried flowers as my subject. Um, it's a background element that I use for product photography, food photography, that kind of stuff. Um, uh, I've got my ca uh, Tamron set up, it's at full magnification, uh, hence the extension here. Um, you'll notice that I do actually have a flash set up now, it's the Godox AD200. Uh, that's on a quarter of a power, okay, and that's being powered by the X1 trigger that I've got on my camera here. All right. Um, settings wise, I'm on F11 ISO 100 for 1 125th of a second. So let's go ahead and take our first shot. Okay, there we go looking good. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to attach the DCR250 uh, Rainox filter and we'll see what difference that makes at full extension with this lens. So now with the Rainox DCR250 in place, let's take a shot. We're at full magnification. I did have to move the camera just a little bit uh, just to get a bit closer because of that magnification, uh, but we're maxed out. Uh, depth of field is going to be quite small, even though we are still at f11. So let's go ahead and take a shot and then we'll compare both of those images in the computer. Awesome gone to the um, trouble of already importing the images and if we just look, I mean you can tell the difference straight away but let's just go ahead and look at the two images side by side compare the two. Uh, stands without reason, uh, this is obviously the image that was using the Rainox DCR250 and this is the Tamron 90mm f2.8. Um, now obviously apart from the increased proximity of the subject taken with the Rainox, what you can actually see here, let's just quickly come out of here and come into singular mode, singular view. Um, if you take for example here on the images you can see um, there is a blurriness and that's the bokeh uh, working at such proximity at that focal length means you're only going to get uh, a very shallow depth of field, a very certain amount of area. Uh, depth wise it's going to be in focus uh, and then you get just like a gradual dropping off uh, into nice buttery blurriness uh, with the Tamron. Now let's just take a quick look at the edges in this image here. Um, there is a difference and it's it's something that you see with with a trained eye and that's not in any way condescending to anybody that, that may not be able to see it but there is a very defined definite kind of like drop off to the uh, deterioration to the image uh, starting and it's quite harsh okay and it's actually starting from about here and just dropping off through this through the corners and you can see that there's actually a line of that all the way around here and I put that down that isn't I don't believe that that is um, depth of field drop off I believe that that is the deterioration in the corners uh, that one should come to expect when using uh, the Rainox DCR250. Um, it is not a massively expensive lens uh, at about $80. Um, so, I mean, 
to start with, it's great. It gives you a nice opportunity to, to, to go and photograph something nice and close up. Uh, and like I said, you can uh, just take care of what your composition is going to be because what you can do later on is obviously crop uh, the element that you wish to keep. Uh, if you pre-plan your composition knowing that you are going to be cropping, uh, that will stand you in pretty good stead uh, to avoid having to present um, blurry uh, corners in your final image when you want to show your images off online to your friends, etc, etc. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's a great solution for, without going to great expense, in order for people to see if macro photography is something that they want to pursue uh, a bit more. Crazy. Oh. <laughs> uh, so there you go, quite um, surprising results really. Um, actually not that bad, you could still see around the corners a little bit of um, softening uh, with regards to the results with the Raynox DCR250. You do get a bit more magnification. It does come at, at, a, at the price of somewhat blurry uh, corners, uh, but if you compose your image correctly uh, with the understanding that you're going to need to crop, potentially crop, uh, the central part of your image, then you should be golden. Um, no worries. So go off, have some adventures, take some photographs, and if you do decide to share them, let me know, and I will definitely rebroadcast them or retweet them on my Twitter feed. 179,000 followers, awesome stuff. Um, that's about it from me for today. All I need to do is say a big thank you again for your patronage and for including my content in, in your viewing uh, here on YouTube. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Uh, hit the little notifications bell and you will get notified as and when new content is available from yours truly. So until next time, guys, girls and anybody else, please take care, be careful, be very wary with regards to social distancing and I will see you very, very soon.